Today's pick a card is this is your person's exact thoughts about you right now. Let's dive in. Let's have a look what they're thinking. I have three choices for you today. I have divine timing. Reading number one, we've got best friend. Reading number two, we have rendezvous. For reading number three, please take a little time out to choose your reading from your intuition if you want to go to more than one of the cards today one of the readings that's also fine to get messages also please remember these are general readings and i will try to get as much information out as i can for each and every single one of you um not everything is going to be exactly your situation so just bear that in mind time stamps in the description box beneath this video also along with any private readings you would like with me um any information there any links everything is down below uh listed down below in the vid uh, underneath this video so right i'll be quiet now so you can choose either reading one reading number two or reading number three for your person's exact thoughts about you right now i'll see you at your readings Hello there, welcome back to your reading, those of you who chose reading number one, we've got Divine Timing, a serendipitous event. Let's have a look at your person's exact thoughts about you right now, let's see if I can tune in. Okay, let's see which one resonates for you, let me know in the comments section, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe as well, that'd be really nice, <laughs> I always forget to say that. Okay, let's have a look, wow. Temperance card on the side. The King of Wands. Queen of Swords. Let's clarify where the temperance is on the side. Ooh. the f okay straight away i don't know if whether there's been some misunderstandings between you and your person um you can see here you know the, it, the king of wands and the queen of swords very different personalities um sometimes they might not agree um you can see their backs are turned to each other with this one i will clarify that as well but the knight of swords and the temperance the temperance card can sometimes be when things have gotten out of control or where there's been misunderstandings and the knight of swords might be to do with communication it's like the lack of communication could be an issue between for um for somebody in your connection or the fact that somebody said something they didn't mean or they're worrying about something that they said they haven't um they haven't mean right now your person seems to think maybe they've messed up in some way or is it that you know just looking at the king and queen of swords it might be that you might feel that you've messed up in some way towards your person the judgment card wow okay judgment is a judgment it's kind of like a make your mind up <laughs> make your mind up somebody may want to know the real truth and something as well this queen of swords can deliver the truth and she can be quite you know blunt with the wording uh, she's very honest um the king of wands is usually a passionate person it looks like to me that you're kind of both w wanting the same things and your person knows that but it's like you're having a lot of um maybe just two different types of people misunderstandings are there uh you're both as strong as each other if there's a king and queen um 
misunderstandings is what I keep coming back to and I don't know why. It's like um, saying things you don't mean to each other. Um, this could be in many forms, of course, you could have had an altercation. It might be that you're silently not saying what you what you both want as well. Um, it's like you're both wanting the same thing, but coming about it from different perspectives. That's kind of what I'm seeing here with this judgment card. The judgment card is often a, a wake up call or some kind of decision that has to take place. Um, sometimes it's a wake up call to someone's life. When I was when I was younger, a young tarot reader, I was terrified of the judgment card because all the people used to look like they were coming out of graves. <laughs> But it is basically, it's almost like a higher power calling you to do something or your person to do something about the connection. Um, final decision, you know. Maybe a person want, you know, I'm just going to get some oracle cards, but maybe your person, want, you know, needs to decide something once and for all with that card coming out. Other oracle cards gonna get you. You do have divine timing. Okay, we've got unfinished business and re unresolved situation. So it could be a bit of divine timing at play. Maybe that's what you um why you chose it, or you could have even been attracted to the image. But you know, look at this passion in this card. So there's something between you that is not finished yet. Um, unresolved situation. I'm wondering if. Your person is saying that, you know, it's like the need to know once and for all is what I'm feeling. It's whether, let me see what else I can get for you. We've got hoping. Hoping, expecting, faith and manifesting. As your person hoping that there's still something in the connection. That there's still some spark there. Perhaps they're waiting for a little, you know, little comeback. <laughs> Are they waiting? There's unfinished business between you, so something isn't quite resolved um, with the cards here. Can I pick up here? Yeah, it's like they need to know once and for all maybe your feelings. They Maybe they want you to talk to them. You may have actually turned your back on this person or vice versa, but it, I feel like it's kind of tit for tat in some ways as well. I think sometimes you don't get this person and vice versa, they don't get you. It's like you're coming about it from a different perspectives I, I can see here, definitely. Let's see what else I can tell you. Okay, I'm going to do the thoughts and feelings cards in a minute, guys, okay? So don't go anywhere. Okay, we've got you hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. So you do have some unresolved issues with this person, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Let's get some more here from your person's exact thoughts. Please take the thoughts, you know, I'm aware not all of it. That's just come out while I was talking. Was going to be exactly spot on your situation. But take the parts of this reading that are... Are resonating with you and make sense basically including your message cards scared of rejection okay childhood trauma has come out or so something's learnt behavior here as well oh we've got drugs and alcohol could be a problem what is the truth? Question mark. They want you to speak, don't they? For those of you who decided not to... Um, your person's scared of rejection. Will you leave me like the others? Scared to be alone, I'm sensing. They have hurt me. More hurt. Some childhood dramas. It could be other, somebody else's fault. I'm more. I was hurt by you. That's three times. Hurt, hurt, hurt from two different decks. I said there's misunderstandings. I'm sensing underneath it all, your person still has some kind of underlying passion. It I don't it looks like it's just been things have just been left, so you, nothing's resolved here as well. 
So this is what I've seen right now for your person's exact thoughts. Have a look if it's resonating. Let me know in the comments section um, if this is helping you as well. I hope it does. Thank you so much, my loves. I will leave it there because it looks like it's been left unresolved at this moment in time. Um... But maybe divine timing is at play here. Maybe there is. No wonder the judgment card has come out. It's like maybe there's somebody watching over here. It's kind of saying, look, this isn't ready just yet. Um, okay, my lovelies, thank you so, so much. I really hope that helps you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number two, chosen best friend. Friendship is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. Let's have a look what's going on here. So best friends. So this tells me you might be friends with this person or um, you're in the same social group possibly as this person. Or maybe you have the passion but you lack the, um, you have a lot of passion in your connection. But, you know, sometimes you wish it was just that you would get on like friends. Let me see what else I can tell you. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, the Queen of Wands is reversed as well. The Magician is also in the reverse. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, for some, the lack of passion is definitely here. I'm also seeing that um, you might, for some of you, it feels almost like um, your person might just be keeping you in that friendship rather than um, starting any romance with you. And that could be irritating the hell out of you with that Queen of Wands in reverse. Also, the Queen of Wands is like, if you're not showing me the passion, why should I show it you? Um, the magician's also in reverse, so that means there could be a few mind games going on between you as well. More romance, more passion, I think, is needed here in this reading. And it feels very much like somebody might be a little bit selfish here as well, or acting selfish. It's like, um, it feels like they've got you. Um... But that's it. That's the feeling I'm getting. Maybe they're just like friend zoning you in a way and they're not starting and not giving you that that um, energetic energy, that passion you want, maybe. Um, you see, it's like you're there, but things are not quite started into something very romantic. Just with your page of cups, your magician, your person is not seeing pot uh, the potential in something more at this moment in time. I think that might be irritating you. They may know it here as well. They might have picked up the vibe um, with this. No wonder the best friend card came out. Their actions, it's like they have you. I knew you said they have you at their beck and call. And it's kind of like you might, I'm going to be honest, it might be that you've been hoping for more with this person, more romance, more passion, something just to get started. But it's like they back away or back off for some reason. Um, see, if I uprighted all of these, it would be potentially a new romance. But they're in reverse. And this is why I'm saying to you, I know that Queen of Wands will lack passion if they're not, um, will, will, you know, won't bother why would I bother giving you the passion if I'm not getting anything back? That, that's what I'm seeing here. I think your person is has been like taking all your energy and all everything you've been giving them and in the hope of starting something romantic. And what's happened is, is that that magician in reverse can sometimes be a bit of a trickster. He can be, um, that card can be when somebody has been promising you things and it hasn't materialized. It can be when it, it looks like there was hope and then it's it's they, they've let you down in lots of ways, like could, too good to be true card. And you have a page of cups, the person might not be ready. Um, they could be acting very immature. And there could be an age difference with these two cards as well. It feels very much like it's been quite one-sided, but it doesn't mean... If I uprighted a lot of these, I'm, get, I'm getting that sense that um, they, there was promise 
at the start or they've promised you things at the start and how it hasn't materialized out for you um with this spread it feels like um they want you around they've been taking things off you but um that, that's as far as it went unfortunately at this point oh dear Okay, two cards have come out. We have new love. So we've got renewed hope. And we also have, I'm sorry, and an apology. You see, there's something about this spread. I almost feel like I'm reading it backwards, like um, it hasn't happened yet. So I'm wondering, if I said to you, if I write a lot of these, it would be a potential new romance. So I'm sensing your person's either not ready for something prefers to be friends right now or you know wants to be on a social just social thing for now if i upbrighted these it would be that they would want something romantic with you but the minute they're all gone out in reverse um and no for anybody else because i have this a lot the deck was not upside down <laughs> it was the deck upside down no i am um, i can assure you it isn't it's just come out that way um It's like, you know, that potential is there, but it's underneath, isn't it? It's just underneath all the time. Let me know if this is you, because I can see it. It's like simmering, but nothing's taking off. It's a bit like a plane on a runway is what I've been given. It's like, you know, when they just do the, the run, but actually not lift off the ground. That's what I've been given. But yeah, it could be that they're going to regret this. But they're not starting anything with you as well. Um, they still want you around though, I know that. Whether this is, they prefer friendship right now. They want you in their lives. But I think this is irritating you and I think they know as well. They know. Confusion. Uncertain, unclear, unsure. So one minute, the feeling I'm getting is one minute they give you the hope or they gave you the hope. And now it's like, oh. That's what I can see with this one, guys. It's like one minute they've given you with all this hope and this lovely hope, and then they've just gone in this state of um, not knowing what they're doing again. That that's kind of the what I'm feeling. Let's get some thoughts and feelings cards for you. Let's tap into their energies. Okay. I'm not happy in my current situation. I'm miserable without you has come out. Okay. I'm planning a romantic date or we can Netflix and chill like old times. I want to cook for you. No strings. I said they want you about, didn't I? It's like they want you around. But... Um, a lot of regrets. I think they'll regret this. I miss making love to you. I will do anything just to hold you again. Has also come out. See, which is, I'm sure not all of them are going to resonate with you, but um, we've got, I hate that I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault. I know not every single one is going to resonate, but please take the ones that are, that make sense to you. You're so smart, you have me figured out. I'm on a spiritual journey, you have awakened me. Do you know, when I'm looking at that, is that something your person would say to you, for some, some of you? It's like, I'm on a spiritual journey, you've made me wake up. Let me know. I've been putting on a front. My life is not what it seems on the outside. So your person is not as together as you think. Okay, my lovely, that's what's come out for you at this time. So this is what your person is sort of, what's in their head at the minute. 
I don't think they know what they want themselves at the minute. But yeah, it's not that they don't want you. They might not be ready for anything so serious. But I know just by the reading, looking at it, they still want you around in the hope of something happening. All right, my loves, I'll leave it there. I hope that really, really helps you. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll be back really soon with another video. Take care till then. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. Those of you who chose Rendezvous, which was reading number three, a private getaway for two is calling you. Or well, let's see, Rendezvous, so that's some kind of meeting. Let me see. Okay. man the emperor <laughs> the ace of wands oh my gosh where is this going they seem to be reviewing the situation the hanged man is always someone that looks at things from a different point of view um or looking at you at a different point of view i don't know whether because this is can be a review of plans so i don't know whether um there's been some cancellation you know it's like they're trying to get something started believe me they're trying to get something started with this spread um that emperor is genuinely planning something <laughs> this guy this person could be older than you there could be a fire sign here as well um ace of wands is there the ace of wands is often about passion and Yep, the urge to create something. Often it feels very much like um, the head in your way. Oh, nine of pentacles, excuse me. I think that we're looking at somebody who's like, don't worry, I'll sort this. They may want to meet you. They may want to take you out. They have got a lot of passion on their mind. This person could be older than you. As I said, they could be fire sign here as well. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh my goodness. Um, they've been looking at your photographs. They like you. They like the way you look, the way you dress. I knew you said the way you smell. <laughs> but yes, you could smell very sweet. They very, they might be a little old fashioned or older than you, by the way. Um, I think they've got something on their mind, beginning with S as well. It feels like they're heading in your direction. They may even want to go, oh my God, it's more than just S-E-X then. Well, they've got some, look, there's decisions to be made. My goodness, they're also now Prince Charming coming towards you. Let me see where the knight is going. Where is that knight going? I did, oh my, I knew it. There's something in this reading. My goodness. Okay, guys, brace yourselves because of what I've just seen. Uh, there's marriage in this reading. Um... It's kind of like, if I was going to look at it and I was going to go far forward, their brain is heading in the future. Their their brain, their thoughts at the minute, it's like, this person's my wife. This person's my partner, future partner. I think they're just going to absolutely come at you. One million percent. If some of you may have met in like different circumstances, like it's a lot of passion to start off with, with this reading as well. But I'm just when I'm looking at it, it's like it's not just you're not just going to be their, you know, their partner. They're thinking more future. They're matching you with the Empress. The Two of Cups is marriage. It's it's just a matter of when I think with this person. Um, they may not have said this to you, by the way. They could be just thinking it. That hanged man is out. Remember, sometimes a hanged man can just time out something. It's just like to regroup, to think. They're thinking of you in a different way. They're not just thinking of you as girlfriend, partner, um, you know, just someone to date um, here um, in that way. They're thinking more long term. They're a match. They're husband and wife, basically. There's marriage there. There's the Knight of Cups. This person wants to marry you wow it's more than just a rendezvous this person's after perhaps it started off with a meeting um i got there in the end in time <laughs> oh my goodness this is more serious than i thought it was gonna be 
pile number three, what's happening to you? Or what will happen to you? They're thinking they kind of met their future partner, they feel. Um, with this reading, oh wow. They might not even know it yet because the hanged man is somebody that will review the situation and look at you in an entirely different way than what they looked at you before. They're trying to work it out in their head what's going on and what they feel for you. The emperor loves very deeply and it is the sign of a very deepening, secure, loyal, putting you first romance. Traditional as well. He's This person is very traditional. They may want the, the full wedding as well. So watch out. The full works. The full works coming out. Family and security. Oh my goodness. They may want the Empress is also pregnant in the cards. Some some of them may want magnetic attraction. We've got passion going on. So it's not just about the passion, it's more. Even though that's there, because it is there, it's more than this for your person. They're thinking they're starting to think differently about you, definitely. If you've got a hanged man, it came up first, remember? They're thinking of you and it's starting to think of you in a different way. And if they're not showing this at the moment, I feel like they will. Because that hanged man doesn't come out for a reason. They're looking at things from another point of view. They're looking at you in a different way. They're starting to think, hmm... I'm starting to feel things for her that I've never, you know, or you, that I've never felt before. Yes, let me get some oracle cards for you and see what else I can tell you about. Some message cards for you. Let me see what else I can tell you about. Okay. With the message cards, please remember they're not all going to be matching your situation. Just take the one or ones that do. This one came out. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. That one's coming out here. Uh, do you know what? I nearly said that I looked at my phone every day hoping I would see a message from you. But it says I look at my phone every day hoping I will see a message for you. My finances are a mess. I've made bad decisions. I'm in the process of turning things around. We have this too. I couldn't give to you like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past. Okay, let's get a few more. Okay. I'm used to getting my, sorry, I'm used to getting my way, but you put me in my place. Telepathic communication has come out as well. I dream about you constantly. I hate that I have to wake up because it's so beautiful in the 5D. <laughs> So dreaming about you, telepathic, what's going on? Okay, my will we see if this any of these resonate with you. Thank you for listening to me. Oh, I bet I've shocked some of you here, but it looks like a deepening relationship to me. They're definitely seeing you in a different way, even if they don't know it yet, they're feeling it. Thank you so much, my loves. Take care till next time. Bye-bye.